viewers. Thank you for watching Blood Plus TV. Welcome to Chef's Platter. My name is Anne, working in pastry at the Fairview Hotel by City Lodges Hotel Group. Today we are going to make something that we can all make at home, trying to use what we have. And as Kenyans, we know, okay, we don't have any desserts for our, we can say it is authentic, but we can use what we have locally to make great desserts and great snack time items. Today we are going to make a sweet potato crumble served with custard sauce and a snack time item, a macadamia nut tartlet. Welcome. We are going to start with uh, making the paste and the crumble itself. The paste is sugar, flour, eggs and butter. Here we go. That's our flour and our sugar and our butter. The butter should be as soft as possible so that you make the crumble fast with your hands. Don't mind because this is something you're doing at home and when you do it at home you're doing it with love. So we'll make our crumble. Very fine clumps, sugar, This you have to make plea hands all beforehand, the day before, or at least an hour before, because that's to less in the fridge. If you don't have a fridge, you can just keep it somewhere very cold for the dough to relax. So after making the fine crumbs like that, we are going to add our egg. It has to be a firm dough, so we're going to make it so you're going to let it stay rest in the fridge for at least one hour. Then we come back and we are going to use it. Okay. So we are going to store it in the fridge. Meanwhile we make something different. Next you are going to make the crumble itself. That you are going to put on top of our crumble, sweet potato crumble. So I am going to organize for the flour, butter and sugar. Now to make the crumble, we need the sugar, flour and butter, this time no egg. So we we'll put the flour, sugar and the butter. We are going to use the same method, mix to make very fine clumps. And this we shall keep aside until later on when we come back and we attack some, assemble our sweet potato crumble. Sweet potatoes is what we have in the home. Sometimes we have with tea. And thus we'll have it with the porridge in the morning. But you always make, can always make something else different to make it more interesting and make a dessert. So 
So this is our crumble mix. Sometimes you can also go more enterprising and put in some nutmeg. Or at times you can put some cardamom. And you can make some apple crumble. You can make some mango crumble. So this we shall keep aside until later on when you come back and use it. There we go. So when we come back after the break, we're going to make assemble our crumble. Welcome back to the chef's platter. We're going to make the shells for our crumble. We have the individual shells. That's what we're going to use. So we really dust our small table. We get our dough. It has rested enough. Not too much dusting. And we roll it a bit thin. And we're going to just like measure how much we need round and cut round and then we line our mold attach shells line them nicely make sure they're firmly secured and then we remove the excess. Right. That is one. Next one. Always don't overwork your dough. Because if you overwork it, then it becomes more elastic. And gives you a very chewy tart. There we go. And then we remove our excess no. Okay. It's good to work in small bits when you're working with this kind of short paste because it doesn't get too soft for you to be unable to work with it. So you work in small bits, the better and faster.
and there we are. Those are our shells, four of them, ready for us to Now, we are going to fill, uh, to do the sauce that we are going to put in when we put our sweet potato. This is our local sweet potato that we have. Normally, we remain some in the, when we are doing our tea, our OG. This is a sweet potato now we are going to use. It's already boiled, so it's just like a way of trying to use it after we have had the breakfast in the morning and you would like to enjoy the same sweet potato in the evening as a dessert. So, for us to make our royale for that, we get to have some milk, sugar, and egg, one egg. We will get to make the royale that is good to bake our crumble. So to make our sauce, you need to boil in some milk, some sugar, and then our egg, we are going to do it from a side. Into a bowl, like that. And this is going to boil. Once it's boiled, we put into the egg, just cook the egg a little bit before we put into the crumble. This is our boiled milk, it's already boiling, and our egg. Things are just common in the house, we have them. Everyone can do this from home. So we will pour the milk into the egg. Right. Don't risk it too much. So this is what we are calling the yolal, loyal, like the sauce to bake the sweet potato crumble. So we go back to our sweet potato here. I already said it's already boiled, so we just cut and peel. So after peeling, we are going to cut into small cubes.
Okay. There we are. And the last bit. This is something you can do in the house on a Saturday afternoon when you're just relaxing with the kids and you can do it nicely. So it is not one of those things that you do in the house like you Okay, so this is our sweet potato cubes. That's how they look. And then we're gonna put them into our tar shell. Note that we won't bake the shell because we're going to bake it together with the crumble and the royale. So there we are. Next, you're going to put the royal itself. Okay, into each one of them. Remember we made the crumble earlier on in the first preparation that we did. So our crumble is here and on top just to cover the sweet potatoes and the royale. Okay. Now these are going to go into the oven at 160 degrees Celsius on a electric oven. On a gas oven, it's gas mark six or seven, and on the middle, in the middle of the oven, because gas is from under. So the middle of the oven, the better. So you're going to go into the oven for 20 minutes. They're, they're gonna be ready and nice to have and enjoy. So there we go, to the oven. Meanwhile, we are going to take a commercial, a small commercial break, in which you're going to make something that you can munch on as you're watching our movies, our series, and also for the kids to enjoy when they go to school. Thanks. Welcome back. As we said earlier, we are going to make two things. Now we are going to make the macadamia tart. It's the same paste that we use, sweet paste. 
but now with a smaller tart right the same process as the bigger one now the filling for this you're going to use macadamia right some cream and some sugar what you're going to do to our macadamia is you're going to make them have a caramel sauce inside so that you can fill it into the tartlet so what you're going to do is to caramelize our sugar and sugar is very very delicate you have to be very very careful when working with caramel sugar it can burn you very quickly so you have to be very careful doing this at home So we're going to heat up our sugar a little bit. And you have to also be very careful because when you heat sugar, it tends to burn very quickly. And the taste is not very nice. So you're going to caramelize it slowly. As you can see, it's changing. Never touch sugar when you're caramelizing it. Can cause you very, very, very severe burns. You can also use brown sugar for this process, but for brown sugar you have to be very, very careful, extremely careful. And use lesser sugar because it's got molasses, so like you can see. It's becoming liquid. So the caramel process is already starting. And there we go. You have to make sure there are no lamps. It's a smooth sauce. I am using the already ro uh, roasted macadamia. So if you have the raw ones, then you have to pop them in the oven a little bit to roast and to get that uh, taste. So like you can see my sugar, it's already in liquid form and now I'm going to pop in some little cream.
It's just like you're making some butterscotch sauce, but this time you don't. Uh, Don't use any butter. You're using cream. There we go. And then our macadamia inside. You cook it for like about five minutes for them to get nice and moist. Okay. There we are. Those are the macadamias. And There we go. Okay. So we keep that aside. Now for us to organize our dessert, we have hand made our crumble. There it is. Sometimes you will find like the crumble doesn't want to come out. If it doesn't, then you can use a toothpick between the edge of the shell and where the uh, base is, flick with a toothpick and it comes off. But mine, going to come off nicely and there it is right this is one dessert you can enjoy very well with vanilla ice cream custard sauce if you don't like the ice cream you get to enjoy with the, any ice cream of your choice but vanilla it's quite nice so this is our plate and we would like to plate it now. Just to make the plate look nice, you get to use some raspberry curries. And 
Voy a hacer una vanilla. And for our garnish, we're using some tulip to make the dessert look plaity. Like a nacho. Uh, and as I said, you can enjoy this with vanilla ice cream. So, you're going to get some vanilla ice cream to enjoy with this. Right, and there we go. That's how it looks from the inside. That's the way it looks. Now for our snack, we're going to have four of them, four shells, or five. Gonna spoon out this. That is how our snack looks like and we can enjoy as people watch their movie or they're watching their series they can enjoy the snack thank you and see you next week when we look at something else that you can make simply at home and enjoy making it when you're having just that saturday afternoon you're just lazing around the house and you can make with the kids and enjoy yourself thank you very much mm -hmm.